Hey guys, welcome back. So, this week we are starting off uh, milling these two, I guess one third and two thirds of a log down into a couple cans. And then once we finish that, we can start milling those down into tapered clapboard siding. Well, we were almost all the way through that cut. We only had about another foot left to go on that and we would have made it through that cut and then the band could have broke, but no, it, it never works that way. It, it always has to break just before you finish the cut. So I think I'm gonna go, I've only got like two bands left. I need to order some more here pretty soon, but I've only got two more bands, I think, two or three, so I'm gonna go grab those out of the farmhouse Bring them back over here and then I think I'm going to call it a day. Alright, well, I think as you could kind of see from that little bit of footage, uh, we had a little bit of snow overnight, not much at all, like two, three inches, something like that. But for around here, that's enough to shut all the schools down and everything, so everyone's getting a snow day today, but I decided, you know, it's such a beautiful day out, got snow on the ground, might as well come out and do a little bit of more milling here. So as you can see, we got our last couple bands over here, I brought them over from the farmhouse. So let's get this old one pulled out of our almost cant here and get our new one on the mill and we can get back to milling this thing into two cants and then down into some siding. Well, we got a couple cans up here ready to go, so let's fire up the mill and get to milling up some siding.
All right, well, as you can see, uh, it got a little bit warmer yesterday. Still a little bit of snow on the north facing slopes, but pretty much all of it's gone at this point. So today what we're gonna do first of all is we are gonna get ourselves another camp because we've only got one more left over there somewhere and we got three out of the last log we did and we've milled two so that leaves one left and it really works better to do two at a time because that helps kind of hold those two cans together and it keeps them from wanting to rock as you're milling them because as you recall there's nothing that really clamps them in place there they're just sort of sitting there on their own free will so if you only have one cant there it tends to want to kind of rock back and forth a little bit as you're milling but if you have two the friction kind of between them helps to keep them from moving around too much sometimes you might get a little bit but it works a lot better with two cants so what we're going to do is we're going to cut a section out of this upper part of the tree here this upper log and we're going to get another cant milled out of that guy and then we can mill up those two cants that we have remaining. Alright, we had a quick maintenance break there. Uh, had to tighten up that drive belt just a, a little bit on there. I think it may have stretched a little bit as it was getting broken. And it, I started noticing it was starting to slip just a little bit if I was pushing too hard. So I went in there and checked it. It felt a little bit loose. So we tightened that up. I think that should take care of that issue. Well, we got the rest of that cut up and it did cut much better after I tightened that belt up So I think that was the only issue with that. So I do have a stack of kind of cutoffs over here to the side and A lot of those are kind of slabs of wood that I had to cut off from the logs in order to get down to Cants that I could work with for making siding out of but I don't really have a need for other lumber at the moment so I didn't cut them down into any specific size. So I want to get that stuff moved out of the way because it's starting to pile up right beside the mill house here. Get that moved out and then I've also got a whole bunch of sawdust back here again. Uh, so we're gonna, as soon as we get the other wood here moved out, we'll switch out to the bucket and get that stuff moved out of behind the mill here. Well, we had snow on Tuesday and t-shirt today. That's uh, typical Virginia weather for you in the winter. So today, we are going to work on something that 
we've been waiting on for I think two weeks now, which is cutting this stuff, all this tapered siding to length because this thing right here showed up yesterday. So this is our replacement saw for the recall Delta and it's actually not quite as nice of a saw as the one we had to turn in was. It's just not quite as uh, sensibly built. Some of the adjustment, the controls to adjust the tilt and stuff on it just don't seem to be as well thought out and where they're positioned and stuff. It's, it's, it's not quite as nice of a saw, but it works. Or at least I think it does because I haven't even tested this thing out yet. I mean, as you can see, the, uh, the cord is still in the plastic bag and everything, so I'm assuming it works. Alright, so that was maybe a quarter of it. Uh, so now we're gonna head outside here and do the rest of it that we've got out here. Well, we're starting to get a little bit of rain coming down here, but that's okay because we finished getting everything cut to length. Uh, we got our eight footers up on our sawhorses there, and then we got some shorter stuff down on the ground. So we're going to go ahead and move the short stuff in here and add it to our stacks here to get it out of the sun, out of the weather. Long stuff, I'm just going to leave it there. It'll be fine. Okay, we got all of our short stuff in here now. And one thing, there was some weird boards. Part of uh, one of the cants had these strange kind of cracks, lines that ran through the cant. And I'm not entirely sure what would have caused that. It's kind of weird. Um, it looks like they've been there for a good while. I don't think it's anything from like, you know, the tree hitting the ground, stresses from that or anything like that. It's kind of weird. 
Uh, and some of them, I mean, you could like bend it and it would break and it would kind of pop apart. And I don't know, it was kind of strange. So some of the boards were not usable. Some of them I was able to get some of the shorter stuff out, which is where all of these short boards came from. I was cutting around uh, these, these weird spots that had the cracks in them. So I didn't get quite as much out of some of the boards as I was hoping. And of course, it's always better to get the longer boards than the shorter ones. It takes less nails, less you know trying to get them up there it's a whole lot easier but you know I'm gonna get as much out of them as I can so the next step of course would be to start hanging some of the siding up and the next place would be uh, just to continue along this back wall here but as I think you can kind of see it's raining and it's only supposed to get heavier and heavier uh, over the course of the rest of the afternoon so we aren't going to work on any of that today. That'll be a project that we'll work on next week. I think the warm weather is supposed to be continuing on through next week, so it should be some good weather to try and knock out a whole bunch of the siding. I don't know if there's going to be anything else that we'll work on or if that's going to be it, because it's only going to get harder to put it up uh, the further up we go because we're going to have to be moving you know, a ladder or the, the loader with the bucket or something that I can stand on to put this up. So it's going to start taking longer to get this upper area uh, sided in, but we're going to try and get as much of that done next week as we can. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next week.